Yo, what's going on guys? Doug Sensor Martin here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm in New Jersey. I'm at David Lade's house right now. We just filmed an epic shoulder workout for you guys. This is a really long video. It's a really good, insightful video. I think you guys are going to learn a lot from this. If you do, please slash the thumbs up button on this video. Subscribe to David. It'll be the first link in the description below. I don't want to make this intro too long. I want to get right into the video because it's very long. With that being said, let's get started. Alright, let's do it. Alrighty guys, so jumping into the very first exercise we did, first of all I just want to say uh, David and I had an awesome workout and I can't wait to show you guys exactly what we're going to be doing and we switched it up really big today, really differently because I haven't done a shoulder workout like this in my entire life and it is so simple which is the craziest thing about it because I don't know about you David but I've been lifting for five years now and like this is one of the most simple lifts you could ever do and I can't believe I've never done it before but the first thing that we did and this is one of the most important things that I can't stress enough to you guys is a warm up so we're just doing some straight up dumbbell uh, shoulder presses and I started with some 40 pound dumbbells and guys start with whatever weight works for you whether that's 5 pounds 10 pounds 20 pounds 30 even if it's higher than ours do whatever you guys is comfortable with um, for us we lift pretty similar in weight um, our our PRs are pretty close to each other and our endurance is close to each other as well right yeah so like, like you were saying like you've been lifting for five years I'm pretty much the same we've been both lifting for five years and you started when you were 14 yeah, like when I was like 13, 14 years old. So yeah, our strength is pretty similar. And like you said, part of the reason why you had such a good workout is you actually took a pretty good pre-workout that we had a deal basically was uh, if I get killing him in Call of Duty, which I did, he has to take a pre-workout, which he did. And now he's having a fantastic workout. <laughs> he had he got the first kill on me in a shipment one versus one and he freaked out. You guys are going to see it on his channel. I'll put a link in the description below. But uh, he got a kill on me. So fair and score, I took his huh. pre-workout. It was really good. Um, we started with 40 pounds. I think, what did we go up to? Did we go up to 60s? Yeah, is we that what we're doing? 40s, 60s. And 80, 90, 100. Is that what we yeah, did? I so. think So these are the 60s right here. So we did the 40s. I think we did them for 20 reps each. And then the 60s, I think we did 15. And that's usually how I decipher them in my head. So like if I'm going to go up in increments, I'll do like a 40. Then I did a 60. So I'll do 20 reps. Then I'll do uh, 60 for 15 reps. And I believe this is... 80? Yeah, we jumped like, up 20 yeah, again. We yeah, did 80 80s, here. Yeah. yeah, we didn't do the 70s because we didn't want to do... We wanted to go heavy. The key to this workout that we wanted to do, yeah. obviously a lot of reps, but we also wanted to make sure that we went heavy. But yeah. we didn't want to do too many reps before we went out to our max sets because we didn't want to tire out our muscles. And doing shoulder dumbbell presses is probably, like I, I think, one of the best shoulder workouts you can yeah, do. Sure. And it's probably the most meaningful lift you can get for shoulders if you're going to try to get a PR. So our goal for this workout today was to get 100-pound dumbbell shoulder presses. No matter how many reps it was, it didn't matter. We just want to make sure that we got it. But again, these are very dangerous exercises. you got to make sure like everything is in sync. Practice, practice, practice before you guys try to go really heavy. Yeah, shoulders... And- Sorry, go ahead. Oh, well, I was about to say that. I It's been so long. These are 90s, by the way, and this is right before our last heavy set. But, yeah, I, it's been so long since I actually started out a push workout with shoulders. Normally, I start with bench press or some type of chest movement. So I was a little stronger considering that I started right off the bat with the shoulder press. So we were actually able to work up to the 100s. But you'll see you guys. You'll, you, guys no, you guys will see that in a little bit. But, yeah, Doug just did the 90s. And here's me doing the 90s. What do we do for, like, 10 reps? I think we did the 90s for 8. I don't know. I'm going to count. This is your third rep, right? I don't know how many uh, you did. Sure. I, I really don't it know was, how it many. It was like eight or ten. Yeah, it was something like that. And we both did these without a spot. You guys are going to see. We're going to cut the audio for a second and listen to what happens when we try the hundreds. Up, oh, come up. Get it up, get it up. Get it. Mm. <laughs> Yo, want me to tripod it and get it up for you? Yeah, so as you see, like, the first rep when it comes to, like, any dumbbell exercise is usually the hardest. So here we are. Like, I'm helping Doug up for his first rep and... And look how easy it is for me to get it up from there. I mean, obviously, I only got two reps, or maybe I did three with the help of a spot, and this was really difficult. Like, this took a lot of energy out of me. Like, 100 pounds is a crazy amount of weight, but I... That's a lot of weight for each hand, 100 pounds. Yeah, 200 pounds doing a press straight up over your shoulder is definitely not easy. So it's very important, guys, if you're going to do heavy weights, get a spotter. Don't try to lift too much with your pride or your ego. Uh, David was even teaching me a couple of things today, like, just with bench pressing, because I don't have good form when I bench press. So he was like, dude, make sure you pin your shoulders back, make sure you have your back arch make sure you use your legs to exert more force like there's a lot of little techniques you guys could do to lift safely and to also lift stronger as well so yeah Doug, um, you literally did a, a 315 like completely straight up bro form just bruised strength you guys can check that out on my channel but yeah that's a pretty strong bench press for not having just like really powerlifting style form but as you guys are going to see like david looks absolutely shredded after <laughs> we did all those sets right there and like that's that's like the goal that we're trying to get is trying to get bigger and also stronger at the same exact time i guess that's the goal that everybody has you always want to make your physique look better you also always want to get stronger more full and i guess the best way of doing it is just finding like a good balance of just a lot of reps and also heavy weight and switching it yeah, you up you said you've been going a little heavier recently right i've been like yeah some so stuff. i've been i've been eating a lot healthier i've been eating a lot cleaner i've been eating a lot more broccoli recently which i don't know i i 
credit a lot of my success now to broccoli. Huh. Like I feel so much better I, every single day when I'm lifting. I look like a maniac right now, but I don't care. Like look I'm these just traps. Look at that. Look at that juicy nipple just popping out of the string. It's a monster right there. We're so focused <laughs> on the zone. So we started out with uh, shoulder presses or shoulder dumbbell presses. And then we went into like these side lateral raises using the pole uh, just to go a little bit heavier. Because if you're going to do this without holding on to something to stabilize your body, it's going to be a little bit tougher. So you can go a little bit heavier when you do something like this. So we did, I think, one or two sets each of this. And if you guys haven't noticed, we only have done dumbbells. We're only five minutes or like maybe yeah. four minutes into this, five minutes into the workout so far. Um, but we straight up only did dumbbells throughout this entire workout, which is like the craziest thing. Cause a lot of the times I think in my head and I overthink my workout too much. And I think, Oh, well maybe I need to switch it up more. So, okay, I'll do one cable for this. I'll do one thing of dumbbells yeah. for this. I'll do one thing of barbells for this for shrugs. I'll do either dumbbell or I'll do a barbell and I'll always switch it up. I'll never stay consistent with all of them. But today in this workout, I felt as we were going through it, I was like, David, let's just stick through dumbbells for the whole thing. Yeah. I even said at one point, I'm like, maybe we should do a cable to throw, switch it up a little bit. And then I was just like, you know what? Screw no, it. Like, yeah. Let's just stay through dumbbells yeah, for the whole like, entire workout. Base, like, so many people feel like they need to like, get super fancy, like do all these like complicated machines, like hammer strength, all this stuff in the gym. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, those machines are cool and all, but you don't really need anything fancy to make progress or like make gains. Like, sticking to the basics, just getting strong at them, just free weights, like you can make plenty of gains there. So like you said, we did this entire workout just straight with dumbbells. My nipples kept popping out with this <laughs> Gymshark string around, but I had no shame in myself. I really don't care what other people think about me <laughs> when I go to the gym. I just go in there to get a good workout. So we started with hanging dumbbell raises using a pole to get a little bit of stability. And then we went on, to, <laughs> as you guys can see, like we went on to these. These are just some straight up dumbbell raises from the side doing it at the exact same time. Uh, when you do them alternating, it's a little bit easier just because you're focusing on one side of your body. When you're doing them together, it's a little bit more tough. So and like I say, I say this in every workout video I make, always make sure you guys start off with the weight you feel comfortable with before you go heavier. Obviously, challenge your body. Make sure that you're going increasing in weight and increasing in reps if you need to, but definitely make sure you know what you're doing first. Um, and yeah. like I said, like these are all really, really simple movements that I think any of you guys could pick up on the very first time. And like I said, this is one of the best workouts I've had in a really long time doing shoulders. I don't know what it is. Every time I've been training with David, this is the second workout we've done together. I've been sore for the last like three huh. days. Like We did an ab workout. And David was telling me that he was sore for like a month after that workout. <laughs> yeah, because I don't really hit abs that often. And it was just oof, like three weeks straight I was sore. But yeah, like you said, we're doing double laterals here. And actually, as you guys saw before this, when we're doing the single arm lateral raise, I actually haven't done that movement in so long. And I really enjoy just being able to really isolate one down. I'm actually going to throw that into my routine along with the classic double arm laterals, which is like one of my fundamentals, like one of the staples in my routine. Look at this dude's back. He's absolutely <laughs> shredded. So I think we started with 20-pound dumbbells. I think we went up to 25s. I don't know if we did 30s. Like, dude, this guy is just getting absolutely <laughs> shredded throughout this whole workout. It's crazy. <laughs> so for this, like a lot of the times I like to switch it up. We've been going pretty heavy throughout the whole workout and David threw in, he's like, hey, we should do this one movement right here and this is what he showed me. I would call this kind of like an Arnold slash a yeah, bicep it's, curl. It's like a curling and then going into like an Arnold press. It's basically, yeah. it's a good way to get a pump, kind of just like touch up all all three sides of the belt in one movement and get a little bicep pump. Yeah, like head. obviously getting a little bicep pump doing 10 pound dumbbell curls. It's not really targeting that too much, but doing like an overhead press and like a little bit of a twisting motion, just standing up, not using anything to stabilize yourself is going to make your shoulders feel it. I mean, if you do this for, I think we did 10 or 15 reps of this, yeah. you're definitely going to start feeling it, especially if you're squeezing and going slow with your contractions. So we threw this in, in the middle just to get a little bit of a break from all the heavy movements. Cause like I said, doing hundred pound dumbbells <laughs> is really heavy. I want you guys to comment down below if you have ever, shoulder press 100 pound dumbbells and if you did do more let me know what weight it is and don't troll because i'm gonna <laughs> yeah. know if you guys are trolling i'm gonna click your youtube channels and i'm gonna know if you guys are lying to me or not judging by the pictures you guys post on there so mm. uh but i am very curious um for me i felt shoulders was always one of the strongest points in my body uh ever since i started lifting like doing shoulders doing anything with arms to me always just seemed like second nature and i know everybody else has their own differences some people like squats more personally uh squats for me and my legs i feel like my weaker point which is something i want to work on and and i said i wanted to get like four plates by the end of the year i want to get my calves bigger and i want to be able to squat heavier by the end of the year that was one of the goals that i set. so i've been really making that a priority for me but anyways going back to the workout uh, we just finished up that set so now Look david that threw trap. in Oh my God! David threw in um, just that little thing we did there. Then I wanted to throw in this as well. We did this with pretty light weights. It's 15 pound dumbbells. So you guys see, I did like these really. I wouldn't even call them half reps. They were more like a quarter reps. No, like little, I did little twitches. Like little twitches, basically, <laughs> like these fast twitch reps, kind of like a side lateral raise with. Uh, I think we did 15 pound dumbbells. So I did 10 short little ones, 10 medium sized ones that went basically up all the way, and then I did 10 going all the way up as high as I possibly can, like as high as my shoulders would let me go. And 
it was 30 reps in total. As you guys can see, like, I know I look so stupid right now, but I got to do whatever I can to get the weight up. You're like, um, for me, I remember when I started doing this, like, I was like, because I was doing so many, like, shoulder movements, like, up to this point, I was getting a little bit of shoulder impingement, but it kind of hurt a little bit, but I just pushed through it. I pushed through it. But, yeah, it was, like, 10 reps on this, then 10 reps up, and then 10 reps all the way. And then 10 all the way. So you're halfway through the set. And like I said, guys, like, you want to train until Pharaoh for the most part, and you want to push yourself through because, like, sometimes your mind is going to shut you down and say, like, oh, you got to stop now, and you got to, you know, you got to stop doing your workout. Like, I've seen it so many times with people I train with and, and some of my friends. Like, they'll stop before they actually need to stop or they'll stop before they're really about to grow. And really, like, those last couple of reps when you feel like you can't go anymore, but you know deep down in your heart that your body can huh. take a couple more reps and you decide not to, if you actually do those reps, that's when your body's going to really grow. And, and like I said, we've been doing these dumbbell workouts all all throughout the entire shoulder workout so we've done some side lateral raises we did like a fast twitch one we did like a, a 10 pound bicep curl arnold thing we did some shoulder presses and now we're doing some straight raises with dumbbells and we're doing it pretty heavy i think we started with 25s on this set and i think we did 15 reps with 25 just like straight out completely flexing banging these out and the entire workout has just been dumbbells so far and it, it felt great at this point in time yeah, so right now we're just pretty much isolating the front delt with the first exercise, the seated dumbbell shoulder. We're obviously just pretty much, and wait, just one quick, I want to show you that you, this exercise, for example, we're targeting the front delt, but we're still hitting like the entire delt. Like a lot of people like to think that, oh, it just strictly isolates like one head of the delt or like when you're doing one type of curl, one type of movement that it, it just focus on one hand you're still training the entire delt you're just putting more emphasis on one part so it's just kind of good to have just a general balance and just do many different movements for the delt so like right here like we said we're doing uh we have different preferences like you guys yeah. saw like my dumbbell was like kind of like to the side when it came out david's dumbbell is just like straight up kind of like if he was going to do a hammer curl without doing a bicep he just mm -hmm. had it come straight out and they're two different movements but they both target the same exact thing so it really just depends on your preference and what you're trying to feel personally i like the one that david is doing more but i feel like these are more challenging so you guys see when i went heavier with the weights it's a little bit harder to do it straight out so i did them quite, kind of like how david had them where they were kind of like hammer curls and i did these with 30 pound dumbbells i think i did 10 reps i can't remember exactly how much i did uh looking back at it now but i'm like screaming at myself to get these weights up you guys mm -hmm. can't tell because we had the uh, the audio muted but i mean i was in so much pain because we were just moving non-stop i think we did this whole workout between both of us and filmed it within like an hour or so and i was yeah. like dude that really burned so hard right there and i was like oh my god like i can't believe how pumped up my shoulders look right now i couldn't believe it like we were just really pushing through this whole workout so uh, i finished that set and then david also went up to the 30 pound dumbbells i think we stayed without the same weight throughout the whole workout which is also really important like try to find people that could work out with the same amount of weight as you yeah. because if you're going to be working out with people that are a lot bigger than you or a lot smaller than you you're gonna to have to constantly be changing the weight through the workout which isn't the worst thing in the world but it's definitely good to get somebody who's like similar in size as you similar goals as you because when you're like-minded with people around you it's going to help you reach your goals faster as well and it's just going to push you and your friend or your partner a lot harder in the workout too yeah so this was a last set that we did for our front laterals and you guys see in the next clip we're actually hitting the rear delt and we for that all we did was uh you guys see in a second we just bent over and we just targeted the rear delt with uh just basic rear delt fly so set done and we're moving on to the next exercise. well before we actually went into the rear delts i felt like i had to challenge myself a little bit further so i took these 10 pound dumbbells and i i actually just did rear delts i'm showing you guys um no uh these these are a really good exercise as well i said maybe we should do like a cable where i did like a um like a like just like a, a you know a pull down with a lap pull down and do it no, behind your neck but keep that theme that dumbbell theme but instead we just decided to stay with the dumbbells and these actually i feel personally hit your your rear delts better just doing yeah. these honestly doing anything dumbbells realistically like if you had to pick one thing to do i think doing dumbbells is the best because you're going to get the most free range uh doing it so for me personally i think dumbbells are the best and i love the fact that we stuck through dumbbells throughout this whole workout because yeah. for the most part i always try to switch it up but uh, now david is doing these i think what is that with 20 pounds i think it's 15 and 20 pounds yeah. yeah we're doing it with like 20 pounds so at this point in the workout like we've already went so heavy we did so many volumes of reps uh, at this point we're just trying to like burn out i guess yeah. i could say so uh obviously the last thing we have to do after these rear delts is traps because that's the final part of the shoulders you want to train so with the traps we decided to go really heavy with it but just finishing up these rear delts i think we did i think those are 20 pound dumbbells and we did yeah, 20 20 reps each of it and i know this video workout is already at 14 minutes long <laughs> so it's pretty long and we didn't put in every single little clip that we did but if you guys want to do like at least three sets you're going to get really crazy workouts in so we only did two sets of traps because we we're running out of time we wanted to go get a camera from best buy before the gym closed 
clothes or yeah. before Best Buy clothes. So we literally just did two sets. I think I did 90 pound dumbbells for 20 reps. And as you guys see, like I was going up as high as my traps could possibly let me. I was literally <laughs> thinking I want to get my traps above my ears. Huh. That's the mindset I have going into these when I work out. Obviously, you can't put your traps of, above your ears, but I did 15 reps. I held it at the top for a few seconds, and then for the last five, I kind of just like powered through them explosively. Um, and I don't know if you do those too, David, but sometimes no, like, I like to twitch, switch it up. Actually, I don't train traps as much as I should. They're actually one of my most lagging muscle groups, but when I do, I'll just do it on the Smith machine like towards the end of the workout. It's been so long since I went out with the dumbbells and done them, but actually, I really like how this felt. And yeah, we just did like... we did. T- we did 20 reps for the Yeah, this boy's getting it right so now. He's, he's getting it right in. now. Look at him. He's going <clears throat> in, dude. I want them traps to grow. Yeah, a lot of the times <laughs> when I do traps, I'll just do, like like you said, a Smith machine because I feel like it's easier. And, yeah. And I just get in this, like, complacent attitude <laughs> sometimes when I'm training in the gym and it's a bad thing. And I, I have to be very self-motivated and think to myself that I got to be better every single day and I got to improve because it's so easy to just get trapped in a complacent mindset and attitude. And you guys probably know what I'm talking about back at home. So... Um, when I'm around people like David, it really inspires me to push myself harder. So for this lesson, I think we did 100 pound uh, dumbbells and we just called it a day from here. So um, anything you want to add to this before we finish? This no, up? I mean, like you said, we had a really, really good workout. Like every time we trained together, which was only two times, we absolutely smashed it. The energy was really high. We really went like extremely hard. And last set, yeah. best set, like Steve Cook says, he's finishing off strong. Getting those last reps in, getting those, I think you did 15 or 20, I, I don't know, I'm not counting. Yeah, and at this one, obviously, the Twitch to get pumped. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did make it to the end, please smash the like button on this video. Most of the times when I make workout videos, they're not as long as this one, but I felt it was necessary. We really got a great workout in, and I seriously hope you guys can learn something from this. Subscribe to David, first link in the description. Also, we made a vlog, it's going to be on this channel, it's going to be in the link in the description below as well. Uh, whatever videos you want to see with David and I moving forward when I get in my new house, I definitely want to make some collabs over at my place place and at the gym over there as well. Is there anything else you want to say before we close it out? Maybe next workout we can do a leg workout. That would be dope. Ooh. I'm down 100% to do legs. If you guys want to see that, comment down below. Uh, but with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, I know it's a longer one, but if you guys could smash the like button, I would appreciate it. And yeah, it's been your boy Doug Sensor Martin, and I'm out, guys. Cool. Peace.